today we're going to be doing an experiment with pasta and uh, nails. Um, so what I've got is uh, on the table I've got a couple pencils uh, that are 10 centimeters apart and I've got a cup that I have uh, got a string through and I've got a piece of pasta right here bridging the distance between the, uh, between the, the two pencils or pencil and pen in this case. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how many nails it takes to break uh, the pasta. So uh, we're going to count with me. So we're going to start with one spaghetti strand. So one, two nails, three. That one looked like three, three strands broke it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, we're going to go up to uh, two spaghetti strands. Okay. So for your first data point, you have one spaghetti strand and um, and and three nails. So now we're going to go with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine nails so far, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 13, 13 nails uh, for the, uh, for the uh, two pasta strands. So we've got three and 13. So now we're going to go up to, um, to three pastas, three spaghettis, and we're at 13 nails. So that'd be 14, 15, 16, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that was 22 nails for uh, for three pastas. All right, so now we're going to go up to four pastas. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now if I believe, if I remember correctly, we were at 23 nails. If not, let's go with 23. So 24, 25, 26, 27, 27 nails. So 27 nails for, for four pastas. Now we're up to five pasta strands. Put some more nails here. So that makes twenty eight. 36, so 36, so that was five passes and 36 nails. So now we're at six passes, and so we're at 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, 40 for six. And our last data point will be for seven noodles. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, last data point would be for seven noodles. So 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 45. So seven was at 45. All right, so what was the independent variable? What did we change directly in this experiment? Well, what we changed directly was the number of pasta strands. So that is our independent variable. And we looked for the effect on the, uh, the number of nails held. So the number of nails would be our dependent variable. So keep that in mind. Um, so make a data table. Uh, use a straight edge to make your data table. It just makes it look nicer. Um, then uh, graph your data. Make sure you put the right variable on the right axis. I already told you what the independent and dependent variable was. Uh, make sure they go on the right axis. Make sure you put your, them in the right spots on your data table. Um, then make your graph. Use at least 50% of your graph. Um, and, uh, you know, use triangles to, when you, to show me the points that you're using for, uh, to calculate your slope and, uh, make sure you show work. Uh, and other than that, hopefully you had fun. I'll see you later.